Okay, so this is the personal part of the haul video now and the first item that I'm going to show you guys Usually I use these soft and beautiful botanicals, but they were not available and they only had the texturizers So I decided to try this which is the olive oil Organic root stimulator relaxer and this one is in the extra strength. Usually I use regular strength when I'm using relaxers So I'm going to see how well this will put my hair when it's time for me to actually perm it next I picked up these um, Deodorant and this one is in the scent shower clean from Walmart and um, They were I think two 260 or 270 something I'm not quite sure but I know it's under three dollars and I also picked up the ones for men as well for my husband so I picked up this it also comes in two he's currently using the other one right now um, usually he used the Gillette and that's the one with the clear gel like um, consistency but they did not have the scent that he usually used so I picked up this for him I also picked up this is the secret clinical strength smooth solid in the scent Ulala lavender and this is what it looked like this is the first time I will be actually trying this particular scent I usually just use the regular next I kind of rotate the odorants too I would use like my degree for a few months and then I would switch and use my secret and go back and forth so yeah the next thing i got was this um it's from near it's their hair removal lotion it says softening baby oil and this is the new packaging and the formulation in this is really nice the smell is divine because if you're familiar with near you know that they have that strong pungent smell that is very annoying like that chemically strong scent to the near hair remover but with this it has a very um nice smell to it so i'm excited about that so this is what it looked like and this is the new packaging and i also picked up this is the pure silk rich and luxurious shave cream and this one is in the raspberry mint mist scent i don't know where i get mint from but it's raspberry mist so this is what it looked like and you get two in the pack next i picked up this is the revlon ammonia free color cell beautiful color and this one is in the shade dark brown this is what i usually use to dye my natural hair color so i saw that they had it on sale and decided to just pick it up and put it there usually i just dye my hair probably once a year so yeah i just decided to grab that up next i picked up this is from glade and this is their solid air refresher and this one is in the scent hawaiian breeze so i picked up two of these and these smell amazing you get like that nice tropical smell it's not too strong they also have it in the i think it's the fresh linen they also have it in i think cinnamon apple and also in lavender but i was not too fond with those scents i usually get it in this scent because i love this the way this smells really nice um and this it lasts a little over a week i want to say a week into two weeks before the actual scent starts to die down a bit so yeah next i picked up some of these body wash and this is from caress this one is an endless kiss and it's the creamy vanilla and sandalwood and as you can see closely it has like the micro beads in there as well and this is the second time i'm purchasing this one it smells really nice if you're not into like those strong strong scented body wash this would be a nice option for those that like scented body wash but nothing overbearing um this other one is the tahitian renewal and it's the pomegranate seeds and coconut milk essence and this one is the exfoliating body wash this is what it looked like 
and this is actually the fourth time I'm purchasing this this is something that I love um, it have the exfoliating beads in here as well and they are not really rough it really exfoliates your skin nicely and it leaves your skin feeling really soft it's not drying and it has a nice subtle scent that lingers a little while on your skin so I picked up that I also been trying this one is also from Caress this one is the Emerald Rush and it's the Lush Gardenia and White Tea Essence and as you guys can see I'm almost out of this one this is another one the smell is really really nice it's it's floral but like I said with the caress I find the scent is not too overpowering so I love that and this is one of the new scents so I went and I picked up an extra one for backup and then they also have this other one that I never tried before and I love how it smells this one is the sheer twilight and this is the black orchid and juniper oil scent so this is what it looked like and this is another one smells mm, really really good really good so I picked up two in these and I usually get my body wash and stuff like that when um, Bath and Body Works um, usually have that big 70 or 75, 75 sorry, percent of sale and um, I usually stock up on those but I've been giving those a rest and I've been enjoying the caress and um, these I think it's like two something I paid for one and you get like 18 fluid ounce which is a lot so yeah. And the next thing that I picked up, it's this Zest Soaps, bathing soap for my husband and son. And this one is in the scent Aqua. They also have one in a blue packaging, but I prefer the scent, the smell I should say of this one. And you get like eight. And I got this as well from Walmart. I think I spent like two something for it usually in the supermarket or even at the pharmacy right at CVS etc they usually go for about four something and the supermarket same price or probably a little bit more and here I'm getting eight of these for two something so I figured that was a great deal I also have another one but um, that's in the cupboard so I bought two of those you can't go wrong Next, I picked up this is some. Um, it comes in three, and I gave my cousin in law the black one. This one is the clear and this cream color. And these are for like when you want to wear like those racer back um, tops or dress or anything that you want to wear and you don't want the straps to show. What you do is you put it like this. And in the back, you place one strap on this side, one on the other side, and it forms that T back shape so your bras don't show. So I love these and I've been using these a while now. Um, I bought some more, I actually have more in these, um, but I just have them. The ones that I got previously, they only come in the clay, I got like three clay. So this new pack that I purchased I got the three different colors and this is the next thing that I also got this is the mesh what do you call it the mesh bra washing cube this is what it looked like and what this actually is it's something that you you place your bra in here so you open this and then you put what am I saying <laughs> then you place your bra in here you zip it back and then you place it in the machine and it washes your bra clean and it helps prevent the bra from bending up and um, getting out of shape it also prevents the wiring if you wear bras with like the wire in the cups it helps prevent that from coming apart 
so I bought one and I tried it out and it really do what it said it's supposed to do so I was really impressed with it and I did went back and I picked up two so I have the other one and that's over by the machine so these are really 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 great whoever invented these I just give them a quick thumbs up great job um I guess you can also use like if you have um you know like delicates um if you have like a silk top or something that you really really don't want to be like beating up all over any machine and you don't want to hand wash it and you want to put it in the machine to actually wash I guess you could probably probably place it in here as well and yeah it keeps everything intact and it actually cleans your stuff as well so it's not like when you take it out your stuff is dirty it actually cleans it but it keeps it intact so this I got off of eBay I think was four or five something I think I got these for for one actually and I know um Victoria's Secret also sell it as well I think they sell it for like 10 or 11 something I'm not quite sure but um it's the identical thing that Victoria is selling 11 something for that I got for like five or six something off eBay and the next thing that I got this is the clean shower fresh perfume and I did get a sample from Sephora this is the clean white wood and this one smells so good but it didn't have the um it didn't have that particular scent so I picked up this one and this one smells nice as well really nice really subtle and not too strong so yeah so this wraps up this part so now I'm going to show you guys the household stuff that I got okay so on to the third and final part of this haul which is the household part of this collective haul so the first item that I have to show you guys is this cute little condiment serving tray so this is what it comes package this is how it comes package I should say and as you can see you have your salt and your pepper shaker and you also have your mustard as well as your ketchup um, squeeze bottles and what I love about this it comes also with an umbrella which you open like this and then you place it to the center right there like that so this is what it looked like when it's all put together and I find this to be so so pretty and it's a great conversation piece I got this off of eBay so if there's anyone who enjoy these little unusual little things like myself send me a message in the comment section and I would include the um, seller in the description box for anyone that may be interested in purchasing it the next thing I got were these um, you got 1,000 and these are the toothpicks with the colored wrapping so as you can see there's an array of different colors so I also got that as well on eBay the next thing I got were this brush what is it it's the base thing brush and pot set and as you can see you get a really deep pot and you also get this is the 13 inch handle silicone brush so I picked that up and I also got these at right here these are like these mini containers so I'm not sure if I'm gonna use it for putting makeup stuff in or if I would just probably keep it in the kitchen and use it for something out there I also picked up these um, bottles and what they refer them as the squeeze dispenser set bottles and I just like it with these ladies so you have your ketchup your mustard and for your barbecue so I picked that up I also picked up 
these as well and these are the mini um sort of paper like umbrellas that you put in those drink mix when you're serving so this is how it comes and you just remove the there's a little rubber band that they put it to hold in place and then you just take it apart and you open it. oops I did it too hard and then you can just put it like in your arm um, you just have to sh reshape it a little bit and then you place them like you know in your drink to sort of like um, use as a garnish I guess so those I picked up off of eBay as well next I picked up this is the tea outliner and this is from Andis and I got this for my husband and son I usually I'm um, the one that cut their hair and I usually use like a razor blade and I've been meaning to get one of these for the longest because he said that I use um I think that is the wall brand but they do not have the T outliner the part that you use to like mark around the hairline so I picked up this and again this is from Andis the brand Andis next I got this um this little I don't even know what you really call it or what they would refer to it as but I guess you can just use it as a um like an ornament a display ornament like when you're having like get together and you have everything like on the table or wherever you having all the different um condiments and stuff like that you can also I am thinking of using it to just rest like in front you know on the side of this or oh, I have something else that I also want to show you guys so I'm not sure if I would place it like in front there like what I just showed you or if I would put it in the um the next item that I would be showing you um the other thing I got as well is this um is this and You can lift it and you can close it it's another one of these little like ornaments thing that you can just put for display and the other thing I also got was another um this one it's like a toothpick holder and this is what it looked like so it comes with the toothpick but I also bought the colored toothpick to put in here as well just for the days where I don't feel to have the plain one on display so I find that was really cute so I picked that up I also picked up this thing and this is something that my husband showed me and he showed me it from Bryland Home but I actually got it off of eBay Bryland Home they had it for I think um 30 something dollars and I got it for I think it was around 20 dollars on eBay but this is what it is and I'm gonna remove it out of the plastic okay so I removed the plastic off of the um container and this is what it looked like so what you have to do is at the bottom here is what you're going to place like all your um ice cubes so you're gonna fill that with the ice cube it comes with a lid which is what really caught my interest on in this it comes with five removable trays for cleaning up and what you do is you can put like all your different um condiments in here like whatever toppings let's say you decide to have like a barbecue get together you could put like your lettuce your tomatoes your onions pineapples olives or pickles or whatever you usually use to put on the toppings of your burger you can put it in here in the display photo they show you um where they place like ketchup mustard and stuff like that in here as well so it's multi-purpose and um i love the fact that it comes with the lid so if you do have 
a little get together like outside in the open you don't have to worry about any bugs or anything like that getting onto the food so thumbs up again to the person who invented this great product so yes i also saw that they have it as well in black and they also have one where they have the side compartments for if you want to put like um utensils or if you want to put like tissues or whatever to the side so you have those with the both sides but they were really really expensive and i didn't bother to get that i prefer the um the clear one so i got the clear So that's what I was referring to for using these so I may put these um, somewhere in the front or on the side on both sides of either that what I just showed you guys guys that um, condiment tray or I may use it for the little stand that I showed you earlier on so that's that the next item I got this is from western and this is their press hamburger and this is with the ejector button so it helps to release the meat and it helps as far as making those round burgers usually i make my burgers um from scratch i like the um i like to buy the meat and you know season it up to my preference and cook it that way sometimes i get wrong burgers sometimes i get oval shaped burgers so with this i would definitely be getting round shaped burgers and what i like about it as well you can always adjust the um the thickness of how you like your burgers for me i don't like thick burgers so i like the fact that this helps um in your decision in the size that you choose to go with and it also um it's non-stick as well so easy cleanup and that's another thumbs up next i have these two um books that i got from the thrift store and i got them for like three dollars each and this one it's the everything ice cream book and this one is the ice cream galore so i picked up these because i plan to do um make some ice cream soon with my son and um actually do like some ice cream sandwiches i think that's what they call it or cookie sam no ice cream sandwich i think is what they call it where you put the two um cookies and then you have the ice cream to the center so that will be fun because we will also be making the cookies as well from scratch so yes and the last thing i also got was this um is this tree tier cooling rack and it's a bit heavy so it's good quality it's not light and flimsy so i bought this for when we have to do the bacon because he really loves helping me out like in the kitchen he's always there you know when i'm baking or you know he wants to help pour this and do that so i think it would be fun for us to make some cookies and ice cream so he will be all excited about that so I'm not sure if I may probably make a video for you guys um, when I do that. Um, if I do, I would upload the video for you guys. And um, yeah, so what else? I think that's about it. No, I also picked up this is last item. And this is the X hose. And this is what it looked like. I also picked up this for my husband. Um, for when he has to clean like the windows and stuff like that he usually just climb up like on a ladder and with this it comes in i think um it comes in 25 50 75 and 100 feet this one is the 100 feet and this is one of the items as seen on tv and it works great because my neighbor actually have this same thing and he showed me you know how it works and 
it's great because once the water is um drained from the hose it really um allows it to wrap back up easily and it's very compact so it's not bulky you can get like a nice little container with a lid and you can just put it in there after you use it um, it's great for like I said cleaning windows even if you have like a vehicle um, you can use it from your sink or wherever you have like a pipe and connect it there and use it to wash your car or whatever but um, it's really great I saw how it operates and I decided to get my husband one so like I said this one is the 100 feet it comes in 25 50 75 and 100 they have them on eBay and I also saw that they have it at um, Bed Bath and Beyond as well so that's it so this is the last item from my collective haul Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions with anything that I've shown you and you may be interested in anything that I've shown you, if I do have the link, if I bought whatever you are interested in online, I would share the link in the description box below. Um, yeah, so just send me a message in the comment section and I will respond to that as soon as possible. So. Like I said, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for viewing and I will see you guys in my next video. Sorry for the videos being a bit lengthy. Okay? Bye.